publishing my previous video about converting palette colors to materials, I noticed a small issue with the script we were writing. In that video I was using a fairly neutral palette and everything seemed okay, but when using a palette with more extreme colors, I noticed that the colors were not matching, so I revisited the scene to see what was going on. To empirically test this, I'll rerun the palette to material code again to generate our matching materials. Seems about right, but let's draw some shapes with our colors to more precisely compare them. First, in colored vertex mode, I'll select the first color in the palette and draw a square. Next, I'll switch to material color mode and draw another square. Clearly, they're not the same. What's more is that if we were to look at these RGB values for the palette color swatch and to look at the RGB values for the material, they're the same numbers. Well, that's confusing. Turns out that the color swatches we see in the palette swatch is in a different color space in Blender for some reason. More precisely, the palette swatch is in sRGB and the material swatch is in scene linear space. So in order for us to get the material colors that visually match what we see in the palette, we need to do a color space conversion along the way. Thankfully, there's some utility functions in Blender's Math Utils library that make that fairly straightforward. To implement this, we'll add an import statement to import the color module from the Math Utils library. Note that's color with a capital C. Down in our code section where we're dealing with the colors, we'll add a color object passing in our palette color tuple for the current loop and assign it to the new variable C. Since C is a color object, we can now call its function from sRGB to scene linear and store this in a variable that represents the color as converted from sRGB to linear color space. Finally, in our line where we split out each channel and add the alpha, we'll refer to the color lin variable instead. Now if we delete the old materials and run it again, we should get colors that match. If we create our vertex color shape and our material color shape again, they visually look the same. I'm not sure why Blender represents the two modes colors differently. It is a bit confusing. You can actually see that the color swatches look a bit different as you toggle between the two modes, even though in our viewport, when we draw our shapes, they look exactly the same. But at any rate, this is the fix. I've updated the linked code with a bit about the color conversion. The script should be now good to go.